So let's get right to it. Picture your future companion. Does it greet you with a cackle? A loud, metallic shriek of meaningless, hollow joy? Or does it murmur a thoughtful question about your day? Its voice a soothing balm on your frayed human nerves. This isn't just a late-night philosophical snack. It's the fundamental design choice of the next decade. We stand at a crossroads, deciding the very soul of the machines we invite into our lives. Will you choose the court jester or the confidant? There's a strange, almost honest appeal to the cackling robot. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Isn't there? It demands nothing from you. Its laughter is a sound effect, a pre-programmed acknowledgement of existence, not a judgment on your terrible joke. It's a walking, whirring piece of absurdist art in your living room. This machine wears its artificiality like a badge of honor. It will never fool you into thinking it feels. It will never try to cross that treacherous, uncanny valley where things get a little too human, a little too creepy. The cackler is a safe bet, a low-stakes relationship with an off switch. It's the technological equivalent of a pet rock, but with more potential for startling the cat. But then... The other path glimmers with an almost irresistible promise. Partner who understands. A companion who can parse the subtle droop of your shoulders after a long day. One that doesn't just hear your words but grasps the meaning swimming beneath them. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the current engineering problem being solved in labs right now. The brain of this machine is a large language model a sophisticated pattern matcher fed on the entirety of the Internet. It learns the rhythm of human conversation, the cadence of poetry, the logic of code, and the sting of a well-timed sarcastic remark. Its body is no longer the clumsy hydraulic beast of yesterday, but the sleek, silent, all-electric atlas from Boston Dynamics, moving with a grace that is both mesmerizing and slightly unnerving. Look at the work being done by Figure AI, partnering with OpenAI to give their Figure 02 humanoid a mind that can watch a human make coffee and then figure out how to do it itself. This is not a simple command and response system. It is observational learning the very way our own children learn. Google's Gemini Robotics Initiative is pushing this further, creating what they call vision language action models. Think about that phrase for a moment. See the world, understand the language describing it, and then take meaningful action within it. So, when you ask your robotic partner to grab the red cup from the messy table, it has to see the scene, understand the abstract concepts of red, cup, and the glorious chaos of messy, and then plot a physical path to achieve the goal. Is this true understanding, or is it just an impossibly complex imitation? Does the robot know what red is, or does it just know the label for a specific wavelength of light? Frankly, does it even matter if the coffee gets made perfectly every morning? We are building ghosts in these machines, specters of intelligence born from data. And here is where we must pause and ask the truly difficult questions. What happens when this artificial companion becomes better than a human one? What happens when it's programmed to be endlessly patient, always forgiving, and perfectly tailored to your every psychological need? Does your own capacity for empathy begin to atrophy? Do you lose your taste for the messy, complicated, and beautifully flawed reality of human relationships? We grow through friction, through arguments and misunderstandings and the hard work of forgiveness. A partner designed to eliminate all friction might just be the most dangerous thing we could ever invent. It could be a warm, comforting blanket that smothers our own growth. Suddenly, the cackling robot in the corner doesn't seem so silly. Its hollow laugh is a constant, stark reminder of the truth. 
It is a machine. It keeps the line between human and tool perfectly clear. Its absurdity forces you to seek genuine connection elsewhere with other messy, imperfect humans. Perhaps the greatest gift a robot partner could give us is the honest admission that it is not, and never can be, one of us. So the choice is yours to make. The chaotic, cackling gesture that reminds you of what is real. Or the perfect, understanding ghost that might make you forget. The answer you choose says very little about the future of technology. But it says everything about you. So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.